What is up, everybody? Matt Modi here with Odds Jam, here to give you some of my favorite DFS plays for today. Looking at prize picks, looking at underdog, giving you the best DFS player props specifically for today. Now, today is going to be NHL, going to be NBA. We also got some NCAA basketball, some college hoops player props that are available on prize picks that I'm not sure many people are aware of. So you can literally use Odds Jam for college hoops player props. Uh, if you want NFL, that's going to come out in a different video, specifically just giving you the best NFL DFS plays. So definitely make sure to subscribe to the IGM YouTube channel, turn those notifications on so you get notified when a new video drops. So DFS, <coughs> excuse me, I'm assuming everybody that's watching this is aware of how these prize picks underdog uh, DFS sites work. It's basically a player prop parlay. You choose two to five or six player props. If they all hit, then you make a ton of money. The more plays you add, the higher the payout is. But if if you do a power play, if only even one of them loses, you lose your entire risk. Now, Prize Picks has flex plays and stuff where you can't afford to lose one. I'm not going to get into the nitty gritty of the math. Although I will say, if you want to learn about that, I just came out with a video about the math behind Prize Picks. All you really need to know is that it's a player prop parlay. The biggest difference with Prize Picks over actual sports betting, regular player props on like. DraftKings, FanDuel, stuff like that. You have the same payout with prize picks, regardless of what specific plays you add. That's a huge deal. Like if a if a sports book like DraftKings and FanDuel deems a player prop likely to hit, they're going to make that more expensive to buy. They're going to charge extra juice on that player prop. It's not the case with these DFS platforms. So you can find some incredibly valuable plays by using the sports books to tell you, hey, this, this player prop's likely to hit. We're charging more for it. Price picks doesn't do that. Underdog doesn't do that. So the example to give here, and this is going to be the first play for you guys to lock in, is LaMelo Ball over eight and a half assists. This is at minus one, or excuse me, the implied odds for a prize picks five or six pick flex is minus 119. So that part's important, basically meaning any player prop that is um, deemed more likely to occur than minus 119 is profitable. And that's exactly what Odds Jam is telling you. Here are player props that are more likely to occur than the implied odds of minus 119. Now, how does Odds Jam calculate this? It's all pulled into these no big odds here. It's a great question. So the way I like to describe it, so when I clicked into this play, we see a bunch of, or we, we see where every sportsbook prices this play, including prize picks, which has the implied odds of minus 119, as I mentioned. But more importantly, every major sportsbook, BetMGM, PointsBet, FanDuel, Caesars, DraftKings, how they price this play. Look how, look how wide ranging the odds are between the sportsbooks, the actual sportsbooks that price every single play individually. We see minus 130, all the way up to minus 150, pretty wide range of odds. So when it comes to actual sports betting, some sports books are better than others when it comes to pricing odds. They're just historically more accurate. They're considered a, basically the way you can consider it, they're reputable sources when it comes to sports betting and accurately pricing markets. That's how that works. So what OddsGM did, and we're getting back to these no big odds here, they uh, tested thousands and thousands of previous betting opportunities to determine what sports books are consistently the sharpest, who consistently does the best job at pricing odds. Takes all that information and spits out these odds that you see here. So the true line of what this LaMelo ball over eight and a half assists market should be priced at is about minus 122, giving you a win percentage of exactly 55%. So LaMelo Ball is 55, has a 55% chance of going over his assist total. So every single sports book, aside from the DFS ones, that price it, make it more expensive to buy. Hey, we think he's likely to go over this number. So we're making it expensive to buy. We see odds range, like I said, all the way up to minus 149, minus 150, minus 141. We're not paying any extra juice on price picks. So this is a really valuable player prop. And this is the general strategy when it comes to using 
Odds Jam to find plays on Prize Picks. You you let Odds Jam tell you these player props are likely to hit, and then you just put them into an entry. That's it's really as simple as that. But the math behind it, the process behind it, is obviously incredibly important. When again, now this is the last time I'll say this, but when you're sports betting, you don't necessarily just want to bet plays that are likely to hit because you have to win a significant amount of your plays in order to be profitable, right? If a sports book deems a play likely to hit, they're going to make it more expensive. Price picks doesn't do that. So let the sports books tell you, let the sharpest sports books tell you what plays they think are likely to hit. Combine those into a prize picks or underdog entry, and then you'll make money. So here's play number one, LaMelo Ball over eight and a half assists. Play number two, Shea Gildress Alexander, incredible player, incredible season this year, over four and a half rebounds. So the no big odds that Odds Jam calculates has this at about just below minus 122 at minus 121.66. And look at every sports book that actually prices this individually. Uh, Pinnacle, which is the sharpest sports book in the world, has it at minus 138. Pretty much minus 130s up to minus 148 across the board. Again, the sports books are telling you SGA is looks like has a just below 55% chance of going over his player prop or over uh, four and a half rebounds. He's got a 54.89% chance of going over four and a half rebounds. We are not paying ex any extra juice for this because we are adding it to a prize picks entry, making this a profitable play. That's play number two. Play number three. This is an NHL one. Philip Forsberg to go over two and a half shots on goal. Odds Jam calculates the perfect line on this to be <laughs> the same way they price the top one at minus 121.66. So the win percentage going to be the same exact at 54.89%. And then again, look at every sports book and where they price it. Pinnacle, as the sharpest sports book in the world, prices this all the way up at minus 157. Bet online at minus 149. Bet online along with Pinnacle is another very sharp sports book. So we kind of use them to set lines as well. Minus 157, minus 149. That's a great sign. This is play number three. Play number four, another hockey one. Patrice Bergeron to go under three and a half shots on goal. Uh, under three and a half. The odds jam perfect line prices this to be at about minus 121 and a half, essentially. Um, Pinnacle at minus 142. Bet online pretty closely aligned at minus 143. And then we have the win percentage for this one to be at 54.84%. He's 50, he has a 54, close to 55% chance of going over, or I guess in this case, under three and a half rebounds. That is play number four. Play number five, another hockey one. So again, this doesn't just apply to NFL or NBA or the popular sports, it applies to NHL, to college basketball as well. Uh, Thomas Chabot, not sure I'm pronouncing that correctly, <laughs> to go over two and a half shots on goal. Odds jam perfect line just below minus 121. Pinnacle at minus 147. Bet online at minus 143. Rest of the sports books, minus 130s up to minus 157, giving us a win percentage of this one to be 54.69. So he's 54.69% chance to go over this number as play number five. So right off the bat, that is a five pick flex for you guys. You can place this one directly if you wanted to. I'm going to talk a little bit more about how to use the odds jam screen and also talk to you about uh, using it to find college basketball player props because I'm not sure how many people are aware of that. So the way the odds jam screen works is you pick a sport and you pick a market, in this case, college basketball player points, and it pulls up where every sports book is pricing odds for this player prop. Now, for this market, not a ton of sports books have odds for it, right? It's a pretty... Um, it's a pretty interesting, not super popular market because not every sports book offers odds for college basketball player props. These sports books do, including prize picks. So the strategy here, and that's why this is highlighted red, if you click into a play, you can set a color. So I set, I, uh, I have uh, prize picks highlighted red just to immediately stand out. And then what you want to do is you want to compare the prize picks line to the rest of the sports books and look for an example of where you're getting some sort of discrepancy on price picks compared to every other book. 
And the example that I found is this one right here, Connor McCaffrey in the Iowa versus Michigan game to go over nine points. Nine, look at where every other sports book is pricing it. Every single one has it at nine and a half, a half point higher. We are getting it at nine. So if he lands at exactly nine, you at least push this uh, prize picks one. Every single other bet loses. And I, I, I'm I, guessing the rebuttal I'm going to get is what's a big deal of just that half point. And they're, the way that the, the sports books are pricing this are telling us he has maybe, I don't know, a 10% chance, maybe even more, depending on how you want to apply the probability distribution and stuff. And we don't need to get into the math behind it, but maybe a 10 to 12 to 15, 8% chance that he's land, landing at exactly nine points. If the sports books thought that he was likely to go, um, well, I guess I should say the way they have it priced, they're telling you that he's likely to at least go at land at exactly nine points, if not higher. So they're pricing it at nine and a half, not eight and a half, but at nine at nine and a half. So this is how you can use the screen. There's a couple more examples here, like same game, Tony Perkins over 11 points. The other sports books have it at 11 and a half. And then another good one here is same game, Kobe Bufkin under 14 points. Every sports book has it at 13 and a half, but the best value is this Connor McCaffrey one because it's the lowest number. So the lower the numbers go, the, the bigger the value from these discrepancies between the points. So this is my sixth and final pick for my prize picks entry. Recommend tailing all six of these. If you do comment and let me know, but that's all I got for you guys. So I appreciate everybody watching and have a good one.